beautiful friends and welcome back to another video i hope you've been keeping so very well i am really feeling so good being back in the kitchen and sharing a lot of vegan food with you and today is going to be no different i really wanted to share some budget friendly meals as well as a budget friendly snack in this video this comes very highly requested after a few other budget friendly videos that i have shared in the past so if after watching this you're looking for some more budget friendly inspo I will have those videos linked down below as well in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a creamy caramelized onion pasta as well as a simple vegan nachos some delicious Anzac biscuits uh, as a sweet treat to get you through the week and as well as that a really hearty and delicious bean cottage pie a big thank you to my friends at Squarespace for making this video possible if you are ever looking to host or design your own website I can not recommend Squarespace enough. I have been using this for four years now as a way to create and build and maintain my website. I have used it for many different things and I really genuinely love it and am a customer of Squarespace myself. I'll let you in on a little secret that is that I am working on an ebook that is going to have a hundred vegan recipes in it. I'm really really excited about it and honestly it's kind of a lot working on something uh, that big, a project that big, but the fact that I know that I will be able to so easily easily add it to my Squarespace website as a way to be able to sell it honestly makes that whole process seem like an absolute breeze because it is an absolute breeze so if you're ever looking to host or design your own website you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com forward slash amanda ducks and use my code which is amanda ducks and that gets you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain okay I've been talking for many hot minutes now so let's get into the food I'm really excited to share these delicious meals with you and I hope you love them as much as I do as well as the snack of course to make these delicious biscuits I start by putting some plain flour oats coconut as well as some sugar into a bowl and I mix it all together then over the heat uh, in a saucepan over the stove I put some vegan butter and then I also add in some maple syrup you could also use golden syrup for a more budget friendly alternative and I mix this together while the butter melts. Then I add in some baking soda and mix this together quickly removing it from the heat and pouring it in with all of the dry ingredients. I'm mixing this all together until it forms a nice biscuit dough and then I'm going to use my hands to mold these into balls and then flatten them out. Obviously I am going to repeat this over and over until I have uh, many cookies ready to go into the oven and yeah I'm transferring these into the oven and baking them for about 12 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius fan force. Once the cookies are done, I'm going to remove them from the oven and leave them on the tray uh, for about 5 to 10 minutes before transferring them to a wire cooling rack, leaving them to cool uh, for a further half hour and then getting into them. As you can see, they have this chewy texture. They are so delicious and so easy to make. I'm not joking when I say I've been eating this pasta on repeat, having it at least once a week lately and it comes together so easily. I start by cutting up some brown onion and then transferring it into a frying pan with some olive oil. Once I've fried it up for a little while, I also put some water on the heat to boil and then I add some salt as well as some raw sugar in with the onions and continue frying them up to uh, sort of caramelize them. Then I'm going to add in some garlic powder as well as some veggie stock powder, continue frying this all together before adding in some plant-based cream. I'm also adding in some Dijon mustard, some nutritional yeast as well and mixing this all together. Once it's all mixed I also continue adding some more plant cream which thins it out a little bit and yeah, continue stirring that away. I'm also going to cook some spaghetti at the same time, obviously you can use whichever pasta you would like to. And then I I'm starting to cut up some broccoli into nice bite-sized type of pieces. I'm continuing to cook everything up here, adding in some frozen peas with the spaghetti and then transferring this once it's drained and rinsed 
in with the spaghetti as well as with some spinach and mixing this all together. Once this is done, I'm removing it onto a lower heat to continue cooking and soaking up the flavor. And then I'm frying up this broccoli lightly just with some olive oil and some salt. Once I'm done, I transfer into a bowl. I serve with the crispy broccoli on top and you have a very easy and delicious meal, uh, one that you can prep and enjoy throughout the week as well. Sometimes I feel like a broken record starting like every recipe with brown onion, but truly it's an incredible ingredient and I use it for a lot of things. So I started here by dicing up some brown onion, putting it into a frying pan with some olive oil as well as some corn kernels and continuing to fry this up. I'm also adding in some taco seasoning. I love these pre done sachets. They are affordable and they also add a whole lot of flavor. I add in some water as well as some tomato paste as well and continue mixing this all together. I also added in some black beans, some more water to thin it out as well as some salt and some pepper to taste and I continued mixing this together and cooking it all away uh, until it was really nice and well done and delicious. I am also cutting up some fresh tomato here into, well I'm dicing the fresh tomato is what I should say and I am also cutting up some lime as well as some avocado and we're going to make a really simple quick guac here. So I'm just adding in some avocado into the bowl and then also adding in the lime juice which I love so much and I am mashing this all together uh, until we get this really beautiful textured guac. Adding in some fresh tomato as well as some salt and some pepper as well and mixing this all together well. Then it comes to assembling. I've just got some corn chips. You can get these pretty affordably at the grocery store here. I then top it with that bean and corn mixture as well as some coconut yogurt. You could use a plant-based sour cream as well. Some guacamole and there we have it. A really simple and delicious meal. I love making this for lunch, especially on a busy day because uh, it's so delicious and hearty, but also really doesn't take much time or effort to make, which I absolutely love. In a shocking turn of events I'm starting with some onion here again but today I'm mixing it up with a little bit of garlic as well. So I am cutting up dicing the onion and then crushing or finely chopping I should say the garlic. I'm transferring the brown onion into a frying pan uh, with a little bit of oil and frying that up for a little while before adding in the garlic as well as some soy sauce and some tomato paste. Continuing to mix this all together, I'm also adding in some water, continuing to mix everything together and add in some smoked paprika as well as some vegan beef stock powder and some barbecue sauce. I'm going to mix this until it's nice and well combined and then I'm going to add in some butter beans as well as some red kidney beans. These sub out really easily for other legumes so don't hesitate to use what you have on hand. I also added in some passata and continue mixing this together making sure to season with salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm also cutting up some potatoes, cutting the skin off. Uh, I don't know if people don't like it when you use a peeler, but honestly my pet peeve in the kitchen is peeling potatoes. I just don't like it, <laughs> so I don't do it. Uh, it's one of my bad habits in the kitchen. And yeah, I cut up all of these potatoes because I'm gonna then transfer them into a pot of boiling water uh, and I'm gonna boil these until they get nice and mushy because then we're gonna mash some potato. So I'm transferring into a bowl, adding in some vegan butter, some veggie stock powder and some plant-based milk as well as some salt and pepper to taste. And I am mashing this all together until we get a really nice creamy and delicious potato mash. You can probably guess what we're going to do here but I like doing it in these little containers so they are really easy to have prepped as a single serve. So I'm putting the beans in the base of these three containers that are oven safe and then topping with the mashed potato to make a few little mini cottage pies. These are so delicious and yeah really really good for meal prep as well honestly. I transfer these into the oven and then I cook them for about 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees celsius fan forced once they come out they are really 
golden on top and they are so creamy and delicious and honestly just a great thing uh, to have ready to go in the fridge to enjoy throughout the week. So I hope that there's at least one recipe from this video that you want to try out at home. If you have any tips for eating budget friendly as a vegan you want to share with our community, feel free to do so in the comments below. The recipes are also down in the description box if you do want to try them out. And as always, a big thank you for being here, supporting me and my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and you so, so very much. I look forward to seeing you next week with another video and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!